This is the 2019 Math Kangaroo Levels 9-10, Problem number 24. How many planes pass through exactly three vertices of a given cube? A1, B2, C4, D8, or E12? This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test. And here is where we'll be doing the solution. So we know that we have a cube, I added a cube and labeled the vertices, that has eight vertices. And we need to choose exactly three of them. The word exactly is very important. Such that the plane passing through these three vertices does not pass through any other vertex of the cube. Let's start with the ways we can choose two vertices of the cube and after we will talk about the third. So as you can see on the side I've labeled the cases starting with case one where you have two vertices connected by an edge of the cube and an example is dh. Case two is where you have two vertices that are connected, when they're connected, they form a diagonal of the entire cube. And an example is DF. And then we have case three, where you can have two vertices that are on the diagonal of a face of the cube. Let's start with looking at the first case. As an example, I chose D and H. Let's see what happens if we choose the third vertex to be vertex B. If we choose vertex B, then the plane that passes through D, H, and B, we can see will also be passing through vertex B. F. That's not good. Again, we want a plane that passes through exactly three vertices, and that's four. Let's choose another vertex just to see if this still holds. Let's look at what happens if we choose vertex C. Well, in this case, it's even more obvious. If we have a plane going through D, C, and H, it will also be going through vertex G. And again, we only want the plane to go through three vertices, not four. So, now we know that if two, if the two vertices are connected by an edge, we can't have a plane that passes through exactly three vertices. It'll always pass through four. So now let's look at case number two. Again, that's the diagonal of the cube. And in this case, I did the example DF. Let's see what happens if we choose vertex A. Well, we can see that if we choose vertex A, the plane going through D, A, and F also passes through vertex G. So again, we have the plane going through four vertices instead of the desired three. So that's not what we want, but let's do one more just to see if this continues. Let's look at vertex B. If we choose vertex B and we make a plane so that it goes through B, D, and F, we'll see that this also goes through vertex H. So that plane will be going through four vertices and we only want it to be going through three. So again, that's not what we want. So now we know that 
this also doesn't work. You can't have two of the vertices be on the diagonal of the cube. Let's look at our third case, the diagonal of a face, which in this case, as an example, is HC. We have two points chosen and we need to choose a third. This third point cannot be connected to either H or C by an edge, because remember what happened in case one, and it cannot form a diagonal of the cube when connected to H or C, because remember what happened in case two. This means that when the third vertex is connected to C and H, it forms two diagonals of two faces. In this case, we can do H, C, and A. Which, as you can see, won't go through any more than three points. It goes through exactly three vertices. And we can also do H, C, and F if our first two points are H and C. Now let's keep looking at face D, C, H, G. We can choose D, G to be our first two points on that face, and then we can choose either B, and again, this only goes through three vertices, or we could choose the two points D, G, as well as point E. So for the face D, C, H, G, we have four planes. So four planes per face, and we have six faces. So four times six is 24. But as you may have noticed, we overcounted. So earlier I used the example H, C, a. And that was when we chose the face D, C, G, H to be the face where we had our first two points chosen. But what if we chose face A, B, C, D to have our first two points, say A and C, and then we connected that to H. So this is the same thing and we also counted A, C, H. We counted it twice so far. But what if we used face A, D, H, E as the face we first choose two vertices on? Let's say we chose A and H, and then we chose C. So then we just chose a, H, C. So this one plane, we've counted three times. So we must take 24 and divide it by three, because again, we, we got 24 planes, but we counted each one of them three times. And that will give us eight, which is answer choice D. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you would like to see more videos.